Well, the high school basketball regular season has come to an end in the state tournament brackets where they are set. So let's look at some of the matchups here in the area, shall we? We have a long list of teams that qualified this season, so let's get right to it. Starting in Class 4A, the Hoggard boys received the number 7 seed and will have a first round bye, and they will take on the winner of Panther Creek and Carey on Thursday. In the Class 4A side for the girls, the Lenny Buccaneers were selected as the number 3 seed with a first round bye as well. They'll take on the winner of Millbrook and Nightdale on Thursday night. Well, following their runner-up finish in the Mid-Eastern Conference Tournament, the Hoggard girls received the number 11 seed. They'll take on the 22 seed Riverside Durham on Tuesday night in Wilmington. Then moving on to Class 3A, the West Brunswick boys just get in as the number 32 seed. They'll be on the road at the number one seed Hillside. Well, the New Hanover boys also in the tournament. They get the nine seed hosting 24 Hunt tomorrow night. Moving on to Class 3A and the girls side of things. New Hanover on the road at Hillside. Topsail will be the number 10 seed and they will host the 23 seed Southern Durham. And then a quick rundown of all of our area teams that are in as well in some of the smaller classifications. In Class 2A boys, Whiteville will be on the road while South Columbus hosts Aiden Grifton. Heidi Trask, Whiteville, East Boyd, and West Boyd get into the tournament on the girls' side of things. Then in Class 1A, starting with the girls, Pinder, East Columbus, and West Columbus, they'll begin the playoffs all on the road. While in boys' play, East Columbus takes on Granville Central and West Columbus. They receive the number four seed that will host East Carteret tomorrow night in Sarah Gordo. I, for one, pumped for tomorrow night as all of our teams begin their journeys to bring home that state title.